I'm Chef Nikki Miller Ka, and I have to cook a complete meal for four with ingredients I'm about to buy today here at the Dixie Classic Fair Farmer's Market. But I only have $20 to spend. Find out if I succeed coming up on the $20 challenge. I'm Chef Nikki Miller Ka. Welcome to the $20 challenge where I just have $20 to buy enough to make a meal for four here at the Dixie Classic Fair Farmer's Market. This week, we're still in the dog days of summer, so now it's time to make something cool and refreshing. I'm thinking cold soup. Let's go shopping. Hey, Mr. James, how are you doing this morning? Good, you? Yeah. Doing pretty good. I think I'm gonna make some pickled beans today. Oh, and you have these really beautiful beans, Blue Lake. $1.50 a pound, are they? Yeah. Okay. I don't know if I'm gonna need quite a pound, but we'll start with this. And then we'll see how much it costs. Yeah, you know, I got a pound, yeah. It's a, it's a pound, is it? It's a little quite. less than. Let's make let's make it. Make it a pound. Okay, we'll just go with a pound. It says point ninety nine. Wait, hold on. It's a little over. <laughs> and there you go. Happy Saturday to you. It's real busy in here today. We have far less beans than uh, when I came by earlier. Everybody's shopping. <laughs> yeah, they are busy this morning. Very busy. And thank you. Thank, thank you. you so much. You have a good day and cook some good food. Though. I will. And I'll come back with some samples of these uh, green beans. Samples, and everything. Yeah. Samples gonna... have been good. Yeah, yeah. I mean, samples will be really good when I come back. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you next time. Thank you. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Hello, good morning. How are you? I'm good. What's your name? I'm Abby. Abby, it's nice to meet you. I'm nice Nikki. To meet you too. So I have a question. What's been the most popular bread this morning? Uh, probably the San, San Francisco, Francisco sourdough. <laughs> Obviously, it's the only one that's not there. Well, I think I'm going to make some tomato sandwiches today. Okay. Um, maybe with a little extra surprise on there. Um, I think I'm going to get one of the French sandwich loaves. All right. Yeah. So I know that Camino is downtown Winston-Salem. Yes. Exactly where is it? It is on West 4th Street. Oh, awesome. Let's do an even exchange, almost. <laughs> and I'll be coming back later with samples of the sandwich that I make with this bread. Oh, it's nice and, oh yeah, it smells so good. Is this made this morning? Yes. Oh my gosh. There's nothing like fresh bread. Oh my goodness. Oh. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'll no see problem. you in a little bit with those samples. Right. Bye, Bye, Abby. Good morning, Kim. <laughs> How are you? Okay. So I'm going to make some uh, tomato sandwiches. Oh, yeah. And I think that this jalapeno cheese sliced on top of it will be good. Yeah, that melts nice, too, because the base is a jack cheese. Yes, exciting. All right. And I think I'm going to need some eggs, too, because I'm going to need some kind of protein. Okay. So 
Um, the mediums because they're three dollars, and you know I'm on, on a budget. Yeah. But I don't really think. I mean, Do you I don't. Need a whole dozen? I really don't because I'm just making for four. Okay. Can what I do a half a dozen? Yeah. Would you do that in the large? Yes. Wait, how much? $1.75. With... Okay, let's do it. <laughs> okay. Just making sure. I didn't know. <laughs> I had to ask. <laughs> I'm not that great at math. <laughs> Culinary math? Yes. Actual applied mathematics? Not so much. No. <laughs> That'll be perfect. I'm excited. So, let's see. Want me to add it up for you? Yes, please. 475. $2.75. $2.75. $8.84. And a 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Thank you. It's always a business doing pleasure with you. Yes, <laughs> and I will come back with samples of the yeah, sandwiches. I'll and I'm doing pickled it. green beans too. Oh, yeah. yeah. What are you making them, dill? Or? Um, I didn't see any dill today here at the market. So yeah. I'm going to have to forego on the fresh herbs and do something else. Oh. What? I don't know. Well, you'll figure it out. You're right. I will figure we'll it out. <laughs> yes, I'm going to try my best. I'll see you in a little bit. Thank okay, you. Okay. <laughs> Is this fun? Hello, how Good are morning, you doing how are this you? morning? I'm doing absolutely wonderful. Aha, uh -huh, so that's how you keep everything looking fresh. Everything has to be fresh. That's the reason why people come here. Yes, you've been busy all morning. Yes, oh my I gosh, yes, there's I been have. crowds around the table. Well, I think I came in a lull. All right, okay. so I'm going to make us gazpacho. So okay. how are your tomatoes tasting today? Uh, tomatoes are tasting wonderful. The best tomatoes I have are these red tasting, these red tomatoes. So what are these called? Are they just regular red tomatoes? Are they big boys? Are they... I say regular red tomatoes, or I'll be just making up a name. I don't want, don't get me to lie. <laughs> I don't want you to lie. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, and then you've got the heirlooms, and so what are these? These are Cherokee purples. All of them, even the green ones. Yes, yes, yes they are. So how much are they a pound? Uh, the red tomatoes are dollar fifty a pound, uh -huh. and the Cherokee purples are two dollars a pound, as well as the German Johnsons. Okay, all right. I have a lot of decisions to make. Okay. Okay, so. Two dollars. I mean, a dollar fifty a pound. Yes, indeed. All right. So let's do. I need to weigh first. Or do you want me to? You want to put I'll it, put in, the it bag? in the bag? And then we can weigh. Okay. They feel heavy. You picked some big ones. I know. I did. I need a lot of tomato. Two seventy-five. So those will be two seventy-five. Yep. Okay. And then I think I'll do a green tomato too. Or excuse me, a. German, not a German Cherokee, purple. Cherokee purple tomato, yes. even though it's green. Um, <laughs> this one looks good, maybe. We'll weigh him. Oh, wait, no, maybe this one. I want a good slicing tomato, and I just want it to nice slice. I think this one will be better. Be yeah. I mean, I'm a professional. I can slice anything. You can slice anything. <laughs> 50 cents. Really? I feel like I can get two for that. Okay. We'll go with that, okay. and, oh, he's nice and ripe. You know what? Okay, so this one's going to go on a sandwich, because mm -hmm. it's kind of firm, and this one, he's real nice and ripe, so, I think he'll be a, he's a gazpacho worthy. We'll, we'll have him, too. Both of those are a dollar. Okay. So we have 375. 375. Let's do it. Woo! Oh, and... I need cucumbers. Okay, How much? Three for a dollar. Three for a dollar? All right, then one, two, three. Now we're at 475. Four and there you go. You know what? <laughs> Third grade did matter. <laughs> it definitely did. I've been joking all morning that I'm not that great at math, but I think I did pretty good. You and I both together. Yes. Thank you very much. I really appreciate <laughs> Thank it. Thank you. We put this in here. And she carries a bag with her. Very smart. I do. I do. I've got some eggs in the bag, so I'm glad that you put these in this bag so they don't 
get commingled because this is really heavy. <laughs> Thank you so much. No, thank you very much. Now that I have my ingredients, it's time to turn this into a meal for a family of four. While we take a break, I'm going to head over to our demonstration kitchen and start prepping. When we come back, we'll start cooking. Money for college. A job when you graduate. The Winston-Salem Police Department has you covered. Learn more about HBCU scholarship opportunities at WSPD.org. The Winston-Salem Police Department. Reach for excellence. Welcome back to the $20 Challenge. I'm Chef Nikki miller Ka, and now it's time to cook a meal with ingredients that I bought here for $20 at the Dixie Classic Fair Farmer's Market. Today, I'm going to make a tomato gazpacho, pickled green beans, and tomato and egg sandwiches. So I'm gonna start off with my green beans because they're gonna take the longest to cook. And actually, I'm not really cooking them. All I'm really doing is making a pickling liquid. So what I've started is some boiling water and about a cup or so of the boiling water. And to that, I'm gonna add some uh, cider vinegar. You can use white wine vinegar, you can use apple cider vinegar, you can use sherry vinegar, whatever vinegar you are comfortable with. And to this, I'm going to add uh, some bay leaf, uh, red pepper flakes, onion powder, salt, sugar, and some peppercorns. So all of that is gonna go into my liquid that is simmering nicely. And once it comes up to a boil, then I'll take my wonderful mason jar full of green beans. Um, so basically all I did was cut off the ends of the green beans. Um, they're not string beans and they're not very stringy so I didn't have to take the strings out. But um, once your pickling liquid comes up to a simmer and the sugar and the salt is dissolved, you can simply pour it into your jar. Just like so. So the liquid didn't come all the way up and that just means I have to make more liquid and that's exactly what I'll do. So I'm just gonna put the rest of my vinegar in there and a little bit of distilled water, some more red pepper flakes because I like it spicy, actually a lot of red pepper flakes because I like it really spicy, and a little bit of the onion powder. Now I don't want to add any more, oh it's caked up a little bit. So if your seasonings, uh, whether they be uh, dried in your cabinet, they cake up like mine, all you have to do is just put a few kernels of rice in your bottle and the rice will absorb any of the uh, moisture and your spices will be free flowing, not like this. <laughs> so I'm not going to add any more sugar or salt because there is plenty in the liquid that I already put in the bottle. So it's come up to temperature, and I'm just gonna add a little bit more. Now it's covered the beans. So at this point in time, you wanna put a lid on it and let it come to room temperature. And the heat from your liquid will soften the beans and they, it looks beautiful in the jar. You can just have that sitting on the counter and it'll look good. So we'll open those a little bit later and see how they taste. So now I'm gonna start our gazpacho. So gazpacho, you can cut off your oven or your stove at this time. Gazpacho is a cold soup. Um, it's Italian in its origin and it's very simple and very easy. And a lot of people are like, cold soup, are you kidding me? Trust me, this is incredibly delicious. It's a great way to use up those late season tomatoes whether they be heirlooms or other kinds of varieties, it's gonna be really great. So, you wanna start with your tomatoes. 
and you want to puree them. You can use a blender or a food processor. I'm using my blender because I use my blender for everything. I'm going to help it along. I'm going to add more tomatoes. Those beautiful German Johnsons. And red tomatoes. I'm going to puree those guys up. And now that they're pureed, the fun can begin. A little bit of cucumber. So you only need a half of a cucumber, but the cucumbers I got, they were so tiny. So I'm using a whole one. And while that's pureeing, I'm gonna put in two cloves of garlic and a couple of cubes of bread that, from that wonderful sandwich bread that we got from Camino. So you only need a little bit of bread. The bread gives the soup body. It makes it kind of thick. And then once that happens, then you can start adding the flavor, like a little bit of sugar, red wine or sherry vinegar. I got red wine vinegar here. And last but not least, if there was any doubt that this was Italian, here we go, some olive oil, extra virgin olive oil. So I'm gonna make sure this is nice and pureed. And it's filled to the top, just like I like it. Now our gazpacho is hanging out. And I'm gonna set this to the side and let that chill over here. And I'm gonna start on our eggs for our egg and tomato sandwich. So, you know those big tall hats that chefs sometimes wear? They're big and tall and white and they have a whole bunch of pleats in them. Well, they're made of paper, number one. They're disposable, but the person wearing that, that hat is not disposable. Chef, that hat is called a toque. So the toque, it, history tells us that each of those pleats that are in that hat, that signifies the number of ways the chef knows how to cook an egg. And let me tell you, cooking eggs is one of the first things you learn when you're a little kid. And I hope I don't mess these eggs up. So. I'm gonna get our half a dozen eggs that we got. And since we're cooking for four, I only need four eggs. So our pan is nice and hot. I put some of that mountain butter in there and it's browned a little bit, which is exactly how I like my butter. Crack that right in there. Egg number one. Egg number two, we're looking good so far. Egg number three. And egg number four, looking beautiful. All right, so while I fry up these eggs, we're gonna go to a break. And when we come back, we're gonna plate up our gazpacho and we're gonna assemble our sandwiches. For the best in locally grown farm fresh meats, fruits, and vegetables, shop the Dixie Classic Fair Farmer's Market. This year we're celebrating the market's 40th anniversary with special events and contests. And don't miss the $20 challenge every second and fourth Saturday through September. Chef Nikki has just $20 to buy and prepare a complete meal for four right there in the market. It's the Dixie Classic Fair Farmer's Market, open every Saturday year-round, 6 to 1, at the Winston-Salem Fairgrounds. The Dixie Classic Fair Farmer's Market, a Winston-Salem tradition since 1974. Welcome back to the $20 challenge. I'm Chef Nikki miller Ka, and today we have made so far pickled green beans, 
tomato gazpacho and we're about to make tomato and egg sandwiches. So I want to talk about the green beans for a little bit. So these beans, they're quick pickled, meaning you can eat them as soon as the liquid comes down to room temperature. You don't have to cook the beans beforehand because if you do, they might be a little mushy when it's time to eat them. So it only takes about 20 minutes and uh, you can leave them in the refrigerator six, seven months as long as they're tightly sealed and you can put them in drinks, you know, like Bloody Marys. You can put them on the side of your sandwiches like we're about to do in a few minutes or you can just snack on them whenever you feel like it. So we're about to assemble these tomato and egg sandwiches. You cannot have a tomato sandwich without having mayonnaise on it. So we're going to make some mayonnaise right now. Actually, we're going to make an aioli, which goes along with our Italian theme with our tomato gazpacho. And what an aioli is, it's basically mayonnaise that's made with olive oil instead of salad oil, vegetable oil, or even safflower oil. So in the blender right now, I've got a whole egg. You can use a whole egg or an egg yolk. I like using the, the whole egg because it gets a little bit creamier. I've also got a little bit of red wine vinegar, a little salt, a little pepper. And now, I'm going to add the olive oil. So typically, when you make a dressing like a mayonnaise, you want a three to one ratio, meaning three parts oil to one part vinegar. And you want to put your oil in slowly so that the egg and the vinegar emulsify. And as you can see, it's getting a little thicker. Which means it's getting a little bit tastier. So I'm gonna stop that. It's nice and thick. Looks good, doesn't it? So now we can assemble our sandwich. That nice, look at that thick, look at that. Doesn't that look good? Yeah! So we're just gonna spread on our freshly made mayonnaise, oh, excuse me, aioli, on our thickly sliced French sandwich bread from Camino. That looks good, 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 good. And then I'm gonna put on a couple slices of tomato, a couple slices of that jalapeno pepper jack cheese, and come and get our fried egg. Done a little over easy. And of course, I've gotta put some mayonnaise on the other side so that the other piece of bread doesn't get jealous too. And then, we've got all that together. We've got our gazpacho and our beautiful green beans. Take off our lid. All right. We've got our tomato and egg sandwich with our freshly made aioli, pepper jack cheese, sliced German Johnson tomatoes. And we've got our tomato gazpacho made with tomatoes and cucumbers, a little bit of garlic, red wine vinegar. And we've got our quick pickled spicy, because I put a lot of red pepper in there, green beans. If you would like to cook this at home, I'll have the recipe posted on my blog, Nick Snacks, at nicksnacksonline.com. To make this, I spent $1.50 for green beans, $4.50 for bread, $1.75 for eggs, $4.75 for cheese, $2.34 for butter, $4.75 for tomatoes and cucumber, for a total of $19.59. So let's see how this tastes. All right, I'm going to try the green beans first, because we made them first. Mmm.
They're still crunchy. They're a little sweet from the sugar, a little tangy from the vinegar, and just a little bit spicy from the red pepper flakes. So I'm gonna set those aside. Those are really good, they're so fresh. Yeah, the longer they sit, the better they're gonna taste. Gonna taste our gazpacho, nice and chilled. Finished with a little bit of that uh, great extra virgin olive oil. Mmm. Now that is really delicious. The garlic and the tomatoes, they really come through. And a little bit of olive oil is kind of gives it a little fruitiness at the end because it's extra virgin olive oil. And the pièce de résistance. This beautiful egg tomato sandwich with our fresh mayonnaise. Oh my gosh. Mmm. The bread. Mmm. Oh my gosh, it is so fresh. It's so fresh I could hardly bite into it. Oh my gosh. I've got mayonnaise on my nose. <laughs> but I got a little piece of that egg. I've got, oh my gosh, I've got it all over the place. Let me tell you, this is a monster sandwich. I've got it all over. I don't even care anymore. <laughs> but it's really good. If I can do it, you can do it too. Just like the Dokus family. They want a farmer's market shopping bag for making a delicious chili dinner for five. Not just four, but five with ingredients, but for less than $20 here at the Dixie Classic Farmer's Market. Take your own $20 challenge and you could win this reusable shopping bag too. Send photos or video of your $20 challenge to me at nicksnextblog at gmail.com. Thanks for watching the $20 challenge. Remember, the Dixie Classic Fair Farmer's Market is open every Saturday from 6 a.m. to 1 p.m. We'll be taping our last episode of the season here at the Farmer's Market on September 13th at 10 a.m. Come out and see for yourself if I can pass the $20 challenge. I'm Chef Nikki Miller-Kaw. Thanks for watching.